thing. So uh, I'm in Royal Arena 7 again, annoyingly. So before we go on to the video of the day, hope you guys will slap a like on this video. Let's see if we can reach about a thousand likes by the end of the week. It's actually very interesting once you check out what happens in these few videos I'm about to show you. Alright, replays. So let's just clear our chest. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now uh, let's open our chest too. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how I got this. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, this Arena Seven Super Magical Chest, which is like uh, like the largest chest you have in a uh, uh, Clash Royale. It takes one whole day. So look, honestly, I would spend my gems, but nah. So okay, I'm gonna show you guys something funny that just happened uh, about 13 minutes ago. This person I attacked, which was one of the most stupid attacks I've ever seen, with the worst deck in the world. So you know, most times people think that they can carry only spells and just win you just like that, without knowing that they end up activating your. Uh, King. So as you can see what this person has in his deck, he has a uh, um arrows, a poison spell, um lightning spell, and a fireball. And if you can see right there, he also has a uh a mirror spell, yeah, and uh and a rocket. So as you can see, all he carried to this battle was a uh, uh, uh spells, yeah, spells. And he didn't even try to kill my troops, I just kept on Putting troops and putting troops. I mean, even when he had a loader on arrows, he ended up shooting it at my uh, my king instead of taking out my troops first, which was a very very bloody mistake. And as you see, just a three star victory in a less than less than forty five seconds, which is very stupid. Okay, guys, my first warning goes for: do not carry all spells. It will not do anything for you. Okay, the next stupid uh, deck I'm about to show you is, uh, um, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's this one. Okay, yeah, it's definitely this one. Now, I'm going to show you a few things that are wrong with this. His combination of deck, as you can see, he has the Healing Pestler, the Zap Spell, Skeletons, uh, Tornado, Fireball. Okay, you do not carry a Tesla and a Zap Spell. I mean, the Tesla is just there to take out troops. The same thing as the Zap Spell. But I would advise you to carry a Zap Spell instead of a Tesla. You see, although the damage is quite much to choose, but that Zap Spell has that zing that uh, the Tesla doesn't have. And also, it uh, carries more, definitely more damage because of the percentage. So I will just take the, um, quickly take out his uh, troops with a wizard and a tornado to keep that baby dragon back. Okay, you see, he missed the tornado. This is what happens when you try to predict what someone has up and is uh, waiting for you to put. So as you can see, I was just trying to distract him by putting one here and putting one here. So he ended up putting the right there leaving my pet to cause the damage and I, I think I went for the goblin barrel yeah the goblin barrel so he was making uh, quite a lot of mistakes right here he he didn't put troops on time and now listen up whenever you want to put royal giants make sure you have like a skeleton on so they can be able to how do I put it barricade your um royal giants from a uh, Skeletons because definitely skeletons are the worst enemies to a royal giant and infernal dragon because what they do is to uh, take the troops out like distract them and um, giants and royal giants they don't actually go for troops all they are focused on is uh, <laughs> the defensive buildings even when they know that they are dying which is quite unfortunate so how I just fast forward this up a bit okay yeah, another combo that is good for business is uh, a dragon and a pekka, a mini pekka or a big pekka, whatever, or a wizard 
and uh, um, goblin barrel so what the trick is this you can be able to uh, take out the um, archer tower you put your wizards first to be absorbing heat why you now put your uh, uh, what we call them again the goblin barrels on the actual tower so you you see that combined effort that combined damage why they're distracted by the wizards the goblin barrel and the goblins in it can easily take them out so guys uh i know that uh, there's this uh fash going on about uh, uh elite barbarians blah 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 how strong they are they're stronger than pekka so on and so forth but uh you do know that elite barbarians is like carrying a pekka divide into two they have damage quite all right but i think the damages are a little bit overestimated let me just show you an attack uh wait okay i'm not gonna lie yes they are being overestimated because of they deserve to be overestimated because every single attack i've had against someone with elite appearance i have lost it so even at that, I would still prefer if you guys carried, um, if you are going to carry at least barbarians, you go ahead with a, um, let's see, a ray spell, or if you're going to carry a Pekka, you go with a um, tornado or dragons. So before I come to the end of this video, I'd just like to do one quick attack, a multiplayer battle. Okay, arena 7, level 8 versus level 9. Good luck, mate. So just we're gonna go on with uh, distracting this guy with a uh, skeleton army. Let's see. What did I say? It's almost like I predicted what he was gonna put. I don't think he was that smart. Okay, we're back to. I really hate these tools. They uh, the damages are just. Nope. No. 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 Okay. Another good combination is uh yeah, the baby dragon and the. Goblin Barrel, honestly, their damages are impeccable. So, okay, if you guys want to take out a horde of minions, what you want to do is to place a wizard or place a witch, which can easily just suck out the uh, what I call it, or like put it, just the life in them. Or if you want to take out a wizard, you can put a witch instead of another wizard, okay. I know this may seem stupid by just wasting one pecker, but he really just takes out. Ooh, yeah. Okay, that, that was actually stupid. Okay, let me try to take him out with this fire. Boom. Yeah, no, I hate these people. I mean, the damage is definitely about 201. It's just so crazy how they have more damage than Pika yet they are too which is just unfair for those of y'all who don't have it I have it but I don't like using them because uh, I have codes okay that, that sounds stupid that, that's just stupid so what you want to do is to pull back this big guy before he goes for no no shit and that's gonna cost about 700 which is bad which is really bad run away run away dragons run away yeah wasn't the smartest of moves but Oh shit. Okay, no, 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 please hurry up. No. No, no, no. I don't want you to go for my dudes. Stay away, you little fool. 